There we go. Alright guys, so I'm all set up. Happy launch day! I'm hoping we get a couple more people coming in. So today we are not going to be doing a car tutorial, but we are going to be gazing through the annual catalog. There's some seasoned stampers out there that love stamping up and I already know all about it. I know how it's all set up, but then we have a lot of new people that are just getting into it and they want to see. So we got our beautiful cover going on here. Mine is spiral bound and tagged, which that's just me, but I love being able to reference through it very quickly. I know it well already. So you're going to go and we're going to open and it's got beautiful pictures. So grab a cup of coffee and we're going through the annual catalog. First up is the table of contents. It'll give you all the pages and separates it all. Now we got the beautiful full spectrum color. This is a great inspirational book go in I don't know what to do with this scale set oh there's examples all over this book front and back so on page nine they're gonna be doing stampin up kits and we're gonna be doing a release and I will be getting the flyers in and I'll be getting them out to you so you guys can know more about it. If you guys like Paper Pumpkin, you are going to love these new kits. I just seen them this earlier today. They are going to be awesome. They are fit for people that don't like to cut and make up all the ideas. And all the pieces are already cut. All you need is to assemble and have a little bit of creativity. And that is a lot of fun. So the First suite we're going at, because then after the kits, we're going to go into all occasions. And it's the beauty of the earth. It is an absolutely gorgeous set. It is sitting. It has all the colors underneath the, the colors in the paper that it uses. So you don't have to second guess. That's the beautiful thing about Stampin' Out. Colors. All coordinate papers, colors embellishments everything is to go together and we got this new little fishy guy going on here I see a cute little fish bowl and then you can see that some of the stuff in the mini catalog is passing forward I'm so excited to show you guys this stuff and you get to see what we keep but all the paper in the mini catalog will actually retire in June. So if you love your paper, then you need to keep it and want it, grab it. We have new sets of sentiment stamps, which are 100% awesome to have. And then we have some returning stamp sets going on here. Here's a new one, it's a day to remember. A lot of people are loving this. You can send out little special messages. We have stuff for coloring. So what they explained to me during our training is our annual analog is supposed to be for your casual stamper. It's supposed to be a little bit easier and this one's supposed to be a lot easier for a casual stamper to look and say, yes, I can make this. And it teaches you to step it up if you want to with all the examples inside it's really awesome so it's up there and they're beautiful and the seashell made it and this is another beautiful suite if you like to paper piece this is a stamp set for you it uses all the new in colors this is an in color thing it has a die cut that cuts out the pansies right from the dsp this suite is beautiful. It's pansy petals. It is a layering stamp set. Um, I will actually be doing a tutorial on how to layer them because it, it, it does take a little bit to figure it out because there are layers. It's a hit or miss kind of thing, but they are gorgeous. And then you can die cut them. And the cool thing is, is they have all the layers to die cut and then you can make them 3D. 
so we're gonna go on. We got some favorites. We got some the sweet ice cream came over from the mini, but we have some new baking sets for those people that love colors, and it'd be great for the creative person to make for the people that love to bake or cook. But also, if you have bakery and you want to make thank you cards, these are awesome. Because you don't have to make cards, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do 3D imaging, you can do 3D pictures, you can do all kinds of stuff. And then we have another one that has a little more, it has the salt and pepper, and it's more of a cooking thing. But this one also has, it's a Wux cooking bundle, and it also has the die cuts. So we're going through like this. And we're still in all occasions. We got another, because they have many messagings. Now we have many happenings that go with the die cut for the many messaging from the mini catalog. So it'll correspond, it'll coordinate with those dies. So if you already have this die set, Get this other stamp, it's worth it. It's like a two for one. And this is another sweep. This is in the wild. We're doing the big cats. We got tigers and lions and panthers and all kinds of fun stuff. And it's got like a cheetah print going on here, the embossing folder. And we have a mix of both the regular colors and some so the greens, the soft succulent and evening evergreen and they get to play with that but if that is your forte this is awesome you got a cool new set called hats off bundle and it actually works with your mini emboss machine which is really cool this is great for team cards team anything Guys, baseball, it doesn't matter. It's got a little bit of everything going on in there. There's a lot of creativity with this little hat punch out, I tell you. Birthdays, birthday favors, name holders. There's so many things you can do with that. And then we have one that's called Path to Greatness, and I think that's really, really pretty. And I love the little brick inlay over here stamp. But I love the 3D-ness of the craft to greatness. It is really awesome. That's going to make some beautiful stamps. And then we have a bamboo. Which is Bamboo Beauty. Which is another beautiful new stamp set. And if you see, I have tags going through all over. I put an order in and stamping up this morning. And stamping up has already had it shipped. So they are on the ball. If you want to order, they are ready for this launch. And this is actually a million dollar sales achieving stamp set after the storm. I actually watched her actual story about this stamp set and it is really gorgeous. It is on my WAP list. And you can do so many cool things with it. And our returning favorites. And then, as you probably have seen a lot of demonstrations, this was part of our pre-order. The Inspiring Thoughts bottle Bundle comes with a bunch of sentiments going on here. But, it comes with these awesome tree dies, like three in a row. Or four in a row, actually. And the cool thing is, it gives you a lot of ideas to use with something that you may already have in your possession. They use the bunny from Nature's Beauty and the little camping tent over here from Campology. There's lots of little ideas going on in here so you can mix and match. But the dyes are really gorgeous, I have to say that. And then we have a new little baby one if you've got babies in your life or people that are having babies it's called wildly adorable they're dressed as a lion a little bear and a bunny very adorable that's okay Susie I'm jumping in late that's all right thank you for coming 
So this is my, I seen, when I first seen the digital version of this, I knew I wanted this and I was kind of sad because they, they could not order the bundle. They did not have the punch. And I'm hoping that changed really soon and I'm hoping to see an update. I do have to check the update. But it is called Turtle Friends and I absolutely, I collect turtles. So this absolutely had to go in my basket. And they're so adorable. They got the two little ones that are facing each other. And then they got the shell so you can do a different green or a different color. If you want to do colors, you don't have to do them green. You can do whatever you want. And then the bigger one, which should be able to be punched out. So I guess I'll be fussy cutting them out till I get that, that punch. But I'm going to get it. And I like that Stampin' Up! actually put these this stamp it's called a stellar birthday and it's got a little girl and a little boy and i can see a lot of kids thank you Susie. i thought it was on back order you can't understand my disappointment when i couldn't order that <laughs> but stampin up has actually got these where they're coloring but they'd be great for young a younger audience they're good for anybody because i love the color but you can definitely get the younger seven, you know, five-year-olds, three-year-olds getting into making their cards and thank you cards. I think we should get these kids making thank you cards and get them back to mailing them. I think it would be awesome. I knew I grew up doing that. But there's the little astronaut and it's even got a little astronaut dog. He's so cute. And then we got the pirate, the mermaid, the treasure chest. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I could see great kids parties. Because even if you don't want to technically do this, you can actually host a party and gear it around kids. It doesn't even have to be for adults. And these are just so much fun. And you can do simple cards have the kids active, it has their activity, keeps them busy, and they're enjoying it at their birthday party, at their get together. It would be a blast. And then it has a sentiment big set stamp of one happy family. I like the one that says you made a little human. So these are great for congratulation cards, birthday cards, pregnancy, any of those above but it's really adorable and then we have all for baby if you want to go on to the more traditional baby cards you get the cute little onesies up on the wire and you can sit there and it's actually a all for baby bundle so it comes with die cuts which is really cool and then we have on the next page your peach sweet it's actually a relatively cheaper sweet um like the sweet as a peach bundle the stamp set and the dies are only 36.75 and that's usually what we do for punches well marlene's gonna be happy they came out with lots of baby stamps <laughs> and this is a relatively cheap sweet and it is adorable the paper is gorgeous we use some of the older in colors with the pale papaya, all the oranges and a little bit of coral calypso in there with the balmy blue and some green. It's a bright, happy summer peach day. I can see that as little gifts that you can give out, all kinds of stuff. That's what I love about Stampin' Up! They also carry different things that are not just card based, but also you can make little party favors and do all that other stuff and I love to make party favors and little gifts, little handmade gifts. And we have our hippo happiness who's returned and we have celebrate with flowers. That's a pretty little stamp set. May your day be filled with sunshine. I love that sentiment and I like the actual vertical or yeah vertical happy birthday. That's really neat. And then to replace our one big sentiment stamp, we have 
biggest wish, which has got the happy, and then it's cursive, and then it's got the hello, the birthday, the friend, and thanks, and then it has it in cursive. So I thought that was really cool. So those are great for cards where you just want that DSP to do all its work. Put the big stamp set on it. That's because I have it folded. Is that okay? Can you see now, Susie? Page 62. Okay. We'll go back to 62. And that's the Celebrate with Flowers. Hold on one second. I'm a little behind you. So there you go. So here's the Celebrate with the Flowers that I was talking about, the vertical happy birthday. That's really cool. It's, and may your day be filled with sunshine. Our goats, our weighted goats made it to the next annual catalog. They're not done. <laughs> Nor are the chickens. But we got another cool animal set. And it's um, from us all. And we got a bear, a monkey, an ostrich. It looks like a toucan. A turtle hiding in the back here. It is adorable. I love their little faces. I love the the ostrich's face is like yeah what's up <laughs> we think you're the best happy happy birthday and the cute little trees for background trees but we definitely got some animal sets going on there let's see and here's another one it actually goes i seen a really cool card and it's a peekaboo This doesn't say that it matches, but there is like a peekaboo die cut in the back that's new. And I've seen them where they put the little animals inside, and it's really awesome. Let's see. I'm not liking this right there. There we go. So you can actually see it a little bit better. Sorry if it's out. You need the cow, Susie. It is really adorable. He's got his little horns going on there. And the ram, the pig, the llama, and the horse. They really got all their animals in there. And then we got another returning happiest of birthdays. I do like wishing you the happiest of birthday sentiment in that. <laughs> and here's what I was talking about. It's They're called picture dies. But they pop out all these circles. And then you can stick the little animals inside. That's so cute. I love them. And of course, if you guys have seen my page at all, y'all know I have my party puffins. <laughs> you sure you, you want me to show you what you missed, Susie? Your list is big. <laughs> I got my party puffins. They are adorable. They're absolutely adorable. They're dancing, they're having a blast. There's a fish tied with a bow, some candles, a cake. Ah, they're just adorable. <laughs> and we have another very beautiful suite. Or simply elegant. I actually ordered this this morning because this punch is so versatile. And I was like, eh, I don't really need these. But I was like, I really like the script inside it. And I don't really have the script for, like, true love stories last forever. And I love that. But the big thing about this suite is it's got copper and gold and very vanilla. And the paper is two-sided. And it's got the metallics going on there. And it's gorgeous. And it would go great with our stick powder. Even if you don't have the paper, you can do the uh, heat and stick powder with the gold embellishment. And it will be gorgeous from the mini catalog. Which, 
actually made it to the annual catalog. We're keeping it. I don't know. I can try. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see how it works. I'm a little delayed, so I gotta wait a second to see if it works. <laughs> I gotta go the other way. let me do vertical in live. Eh, well, we'll have to try that another time because I'll definitely be doing that. And then we have an encircled in friendship bundle which has these awesome bundles that go with our new vellum. You're not zooming out anymore, Susie. <laughs> so I'll have to do one page at a time. I'm on my phone, not a tablet. Okay. Let's see what light is bugging me. I don't know. about that. I'm going to try to get a little bit better. See how close I am. See, this is why I don't touch you when I lie. You can see my turtle. You can see my succulent. Hee hee hee. I don't want to touch it because you are a little delayed than me. So I kind of want to do it when I catch up. And let's see if we can get this. See, this is why I don't touch nothing while I'm live. I just let it go. <laughs> you just let it happen, Susie. <laughs> oh, boy. But I'm going to still lift this up to the camera because I'm getting a glare off something. Oh, no, 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 no. But this is the Encircled in Friendship bundle, and I actually ordered this this morning because I absolutely love the die cuts. right there. The die cuts are absolutely awesome. I'm not moving the camera. <laughs> I'm moving the catalog. I'm having technical difficulties. I know. It's just we're delayed. So it's not being functional. That's all. Maybe. Could be. in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Kind of in the middle. So weird. Okay. But this Encircled in Friendship was one of those bundles that I just had to have. I hope you guys can see better. I don't know where my glare is coming from. shut the wind curtain in the window and see if that helps. I'm trying to figure it out without making it super dark in here. Like that. I doubt it's your computer, Susie. It's probably me. I'm a little off. And if I have a suggestion 
on page 72 it's called through it together this has some really awesome sentiments in it this really should be part of your collection and it says, stay strong, my friend. You're doing better than you think. Don't let worry spoil your happy. Follow your dreams. You are loved today and always. You are capable of all great things. Forever grateful. The best way to get through things is together. Sending you a paper hug. I love you no matter what. Believe in yourself. May your comeback be stronger than your setback. Praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. You are proof there is good in the world. With much love, I miss you. I'm here for you. Hello, lovely. Warmest wishes and get well soon. These are absolutely beautiful sentiments and they can go with any paper, any stamp set that you have, whether it's new or old. Woohoo, I got it perfect. And we have our Returning Forever Blossoms on 73 in Prize Penelope. And then we have an Always in My Heart on page 74, which is from the mini catalog. And then Shaded Summer is a new one. It's actually really pretty. It's got the shaded flowers. Some friends are just meant to be. Thank you. Happy birthday. Above and beyond. You go there a lot. May the good you do come back to you. Love you, friend. And hello you. And then it's got the flowers. This is another sentiment that really should be, I think, part of everybody's collection. Who doesn't need these? And they're gorgeous script, too. And they're good sized words. And we have a Positive Thoughts Bundle. So it's absolutely awesome. That came through, and it's a very gorgeous set in itself. But we have a new one called Forever Grapevine, and I'm from the Finger Lakes. And I thought anybody over in Naples Valley or even California would love these cards. This would be great for signage for, oh, for the wines, the grape pies that are all around here. I just thought everybody would go gaga over this. This would be great for a business gift. It doesn't matter. It would make a beautiful card because the vines are gorgeous. And that actually has a dot, that's a bundle, so it actually die cuts this beautiful vine out, which is actually gorgeous. <laughs> Add it to your list, Susie. <laughs> and then the ornate thanks has continued. And then we have a new one that you've probably seen all around Facebook or online. It was a pre-order for us demonstrators, and we could order it. I did not get it, because I got other ones, but because you can't have them all. Wish you could, but you can't have them all. Thankfully, this whole catalog's out for a year. So you got, this one is a punch and stamp bundle, and you can get that for 35, and it comes with the flowers, and it's a flower builder. And this is Life is Better with Friends Like You. Big card, or little card, big thanks, which I love. Many thanks from all of us. Thank you for everything. But it really is, and it's got the little flowers. And I love the examples that they have up top. Where they die cut them and they make a reef actually out of them around a circle. That's like just beautiful. And our beautiful moments made it back. It's one of my favorite sets. Living and going strong. Let's see. I got a suite coming up on the next two pages. So let's see if I can get some of it in there. I might have to split it in half. 
because it's called Bloom Where You're Planted. So we're doing house plants and potted plants and macrame planters and all this fun stuff. And this set is a stamp set and a die cut bundle. And it also has its own paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we have the only new color it has in there is Evening Evergreen, but they have the paper is gorgeous. It has the brick. It was very hard for me not to order this paper <laughs> because I love plants. It's really hard for me not to order this because I'm a houseplant person. I really love them. I think they look awesome. And as you can see, I got a little stick it note going on here in 82. And it's because it says, count on me. It's an animal set. And I love animal sets. It's got a penguin with a balloon. And he looks like he's flying over there. We got a kangaroo with flowers. A bear. Two koalas hugging each other. A fox. And a kiwi. He is adorable. I love it. And it says, they're thick and thin. Count on me. Count me in, and I know that's something that I used to say when I was younger. And no matter what, I'm here for you. I've got your back. Love comes in all shapes and sizes, and we can make it through anything if we do it together. <laughs> Susie, your list is going to be like the whole catalog. <laughs> Don't worry, mine's pretty big, too. <laughs> Uh, let's see, did I skip? So we have our free as a bird that actually made it. The die cuts that went with it actually didn't. Um, I can't remember what they were called, but I have them. I use them. But well done has made it. It's just as paper. So we get to keep the cute well done, which they have some really cool notes new die cuts that are all by itself that go with a lot of this stuff that you can be really creative with. So on 84 we're doing we got Sweet Farewell which is cute. It's got little it looks like little stickers. An airplane, a boat, a camera for people that are going off and away. And then you got the cute one right behind you with the, the kids on the bike and it's got a little dog going on there and it's really cute. It's make a great team. Hills are easier when you have a friend. Better together. Thanks for sharing the ride. Always right behind you. That's a cute one. And our back on our feet, our silly sloth and giraffe and turtle made it back, which is adorable. And we have a new animal set, and it's called Badger's Besties. So we got the little dancing badgers. All of them are dancing. All kinds of dancing animals in this catalog. They're partying it up. Stampin' Up style. And it's, it's your turn to celebrate. Thanks for being you. Happy day, I love that sediment. And you're my bestie. They're really cute. And we have the seniors, which continued on from the last annual catalog. And the Nothing's Better Than. I need, I have the stamp set, but now I need to buy the die cuts. Because <laughs> I just need them. I can see awesome cards. It has coffee and chocolate and cocktails and cookies in it. And I just, it's just a great set. I'm so happy it went to the... I moved over and we didn't lose it and it didn't retire on us. All right, so we're going to be going into the holidays. And this is called, this suite is called Tidings of Christmas. So be, if you like getting your Christmas cards done early or you want to do a Christmas in July party, this is the stamp set that you want to use. It's got the cute little stockings going on there and some beautiful paper. And it's got die cuts going on with it. It is really gorgeous. But I could see a great stamping in July on a rainy day. And doing Christmas cards and then putting them away instead of waiting until last minute. Which I tend to do. 
and our snowflake wishes made it through, but we do have a new large background stamp. It's called Festive Foliage, so it looks like it's got holly and Christmas and evergreen parts of the tree going on in the back. I can see some very beautiful flowers or beautiful cards going on with that. You know, I used to not like those big stamps, but I do now. And then we have the new Evergreen Bundle. Elegance Bundle. So we got our Christmas trees going on in here in this. And it is a punch bundle, but it is a border punch. Stampin' Up! used to have these, and they brought this one back. And this would actually make really awesome cards you can do it in the negative space or the positive space in the card so you can use everything like i said lots of great christmas ideas if you want to do a holiday party and the points that petals made it in back in the snowman season and the perfectly plaid is still here and so does a punch and then we have a new one with die cuts and it's called Seasons Blessings Bundle. So you have fall leaves, it looks like Christmas poinsettias and all this and it says may your day be filled with good things with a basket. So thankful for all that you do and wishing you well and it's got all the really cool basket die cuts and it looks like it even has a bigger one in the die cut so that's new so that could be used for Thanksgiving or any of the holidays like Christmas you know when we enter into the busiest time of year and that's beautiful and then we have banner year which made it through which has a squirrel and that's what got me when I bought it I bought this actually when I first joined because it was just so adorable and it's nice to have all the different sentiments here for the holidays. It even has happy haunting for Halloween and treats so sweet and happy Thanksgiving and happy fall y'all. I can see that with the, the little squirrel and the egg corn and it's got Christmas hats and bats and it's got a little bit of everything going on there. So if you don't like doing a bunch of cards that are holiday, that would actually fit in real easy. And so we have another suite, which is actually on my want list. I want the whole thing. It's called Expressions of Ink. So it has like an alcohol ink mixed together with the paper and the flowers and the way that the... The whole stamp set's designed, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then they put gold inlay with that, and we're going in with the pale papaya and the polished pink and the bright colors, and it's just a lot of fun. And it's got like a background stamp, and there's just so much fun you can do with this. But it is, I wanted to get this later on when I didn't get a bunch of new stuff so I can concentrate on it, because this, it's a very versatile stamp set. Because you can do it in any color you want if you really think about it. And then we have one that you've probably seen on my website and I've used the, the die cuts for this. Even if you don't want the stamp set, the die cuts for this is like a must have if you make cards or anything. Because they have like this scalloped contour dies and they have all the different sizes and they're absolutely gorgeous they're definitely going to be a workhorse for me but it also die cuts the one flower in this and we've seen some beautiful cards or even they really are like a needed thing if you love to stamp Susie I've used that so much but I love the flower. I love this flower. I like the design. I like them. I like this. I like the look like it's hand drawn. So it's really, really neat. But even the stamp set itself goes by itself. It doesn't need the die cuts if you can't get the die cuts right now. 
You don't need them. They're here and you can do so many things with it. And All Things Fabulous has made it to the annual catalog. So we get to have that for another year. And we had a new one and it's called Henna Hearts, which actually is really cute. It brings back it really does it's just I don't know it's just gorgeous you can sit there and you can do it in one color or you can leave it in black because I know it's traditionally done in black and red inks and so you wouldn't have to color it all if you didn't want to it really is a gorgeous little set and we have the new one etched in nature we actually had a problem with this and Stampin' Up! had given this as a bonus for going to our training. It's etched in nature, but they took it off. And they will be fixing it because it didn't go through correctly. At the um, So I guess it's a good thing that we all got it. We got to be the people before it got into your hands. But it is a gorgeous set, and I really hope they can fix that because it's got the mushroom and the bird and the butterfly, and it is really gorgeous with this plant leaf stem thing. And when being together is more important than what you do, you're with a friend, cherish happy moments just for you, and thank you. So I'm really hoping that they fix this. And very versatile, which I'm so excited because I love the leaves and the letters or the writing and to do background stamping. It's just a very beautiful set. It actually would go quite well with that very elegant set. Ideas are spinning. All right, so another new one is to the moon. It's got the earth and I can just see a preteen that loves astrology, love playing with this. And doing things like that or making things for a boy's room and making them in framed photographs or doing that and making these. They would be awesome. And then another new one is watercolored shapes. And these are actually... And I learned in art class that when you use something like this and you're doing the shapes instead of having the defined lines, you just have to splat them. It's a really actually relieving process and they actually do come out really beautiful. It shows an example of some of them right here. And it's like almost like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> so they are really, really gorgeous. And they give you great examples. Like I said, this is, if you need inspiration, this catalog is your best friend. Even if you think you're done with it, don't throw it out. We don't even throw our old ones. And then we have Best Year that made it in. I don't know, Susie. And then we have one of my favorites. My favorite sweet. It's hand pinned. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. The paper by itself is gorgeous. The stamp set is gorgeous. It is awesome. And it uses some of the new colors. And it brings in some of the old. And we got our flowers. And it has like the watercolor two-step stamping. And the dies are absolutely gorgeous. And let's see. It doesn't even show you, but there's actual gems that have pale papaya and mint macaroon that go with them. And they have little glitzes in them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I have the whole suite. That was part of my pre-order. And then we're talking about our nice big stamps going on here. We all have seen the Butterfly Brilliance. The dies and the butterflies have come in and it's that big stamp and it is still, I can't stress enough, these butterflies are awesome. And the new one that's right next to it is called Daisy Garden, which does beautiful background. 
and we watched a demonstration where they did such simple stamping and it came out absolutely gorgeous. And that is on my wish list and I can't wait to actually show you guys that. This one came home with me. This one's Garden Birdhouses. This is, they show it in watercolor. It can be stamped regular. It can be alcohol markered. It can be anything you want it to be. But I can't wait to watercolor it. But I love birdhouses and birds and I love the size of them. And I love the tree branch and that you got flowers to put underneath and the grass and the pole. You can make it as long or as short as you want. But this definitely is coming with me already. And it is gorgeous. And as you can see, they have some examples of just some of the stuff that you can do with it. Because not only can you put them on the post, you can hang them from the branch. It's just so cool. And then we have our carryovers, our birds and branches. And our hadron blooms in our hydrangea set did make it. Just the paper didn't, which is sad. But the gems did. And this is another one that's actually on my list. Um, it does have a lot of little pieces in the dies. And it's called the Quiet Meadow Bundle. A meadow bundle. And it's really, really gorgeous. And I love the simplicity of these flowers. And make it a center point. It is really beautiful. And they're using the contoured dies. Again in here. Well, no, that's actually a die that's actually in there. But you so, and then it's got the splatters and all the little things in there. But it is a very beautiful set. Tasteful Touches made it to the next part of the catalog. So we get that for another beautiful year. And there is a new suite, and it's called Sweet Symmetry. That means it comes with dies or a punt. Actually, this one comes with a, a border punch like the trays. And it has DSP that goes with it. And it's really beautiful. But it's called Sweet Symmetry. So we'll look at that. This is something I think I'd have to see. But I do love the punch. But I like anything green. But it's really gorgeous, and I love the shapes. But it's definitely something that you can do a lot with. You just have to sit down and go, yeah, that's how it goes together. But that's what you guys got our demonstrators for, right? And then we have the Buck Boutique Bundle. I probably heard that name, but it is a really beautiful bundle. And it has the really, I can't even like fan flowers. They're really neat. I like the design. But they come out in die cuts. So it is a bundle. It's a stamp and die cuts. But it is really beautiful. Yeah, it does remind me of Lovely You. Love of Leaves and Queen Anne's Lace. Have made it another year. Let's see. Here we go. This is called the Art Bloom Bundle. This is the stamp set and the hybrid embossing folder. So it looks like it's got die cuts too. Coordinates with the, I'm assuming the embossing folder will actually die cut. Can't wait till they find more about this one. This one's actually kind of neat. Never not loving you. You're a rare find dear friend and it's another two step stamp. But I definitely have to find out more about this. And I'm sure we'll see it on the demonstrator page. And then we have some cool all squared away 
kind of stamps. It's cute. I like the little shapes and stuff. They're, they got bubbles and little lines and then the squigglies. And it reminds me of um, Zentangle. So it's a lot of fun. But the cool thing is they actually have die cuts that go with them and they square them out in different shapes. So that's really neat. So you can layer them like they did on here. It's a really neat set. Alright. What don't I want on this? Like I said, I just started getting into those big stamp sets for the back room. And I really want them. I want them all. But the birch, the dry brush, the wild roses, and the stacked stones all continued on. But now we're doing the spiral die, which I did get, and I loved. I actually heat, I did emboss and heat with it, and it came out really cool, and I did resist blending. Like I said, that was fun. Time consuming, but it made the awesomest card. I love the tie-dye. <laughs> Bloomfield Library actually does a tie-dye night for families every year, so I think this is really neat. And then, if you are to sell any of it, we have an angel policy, but basically this is the stamp set for you. It's called Handmade for You, and basically the only one that you really need is the C Stampin' Up. It's just you're using those images, and that way you don't get in trouble. But it has Craft Queen, Stitch with Love, Handmade, Handmade for You, Made It. Crafter's going to craft. It's really cute with the scissors. But that stamp set really is all you need to put on there. And then you are falling in that angel policy. Well, we finally made it through the main part of the catalog. And then we go into the accessories and more. And I had a blank tag. And I call this the color collection. This is where you're going to find all your colors grouped together. And they're lovely homes of brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, and basics. And then you got your two sets of ink colors. But it's where you'll find your order number if they have Stampin' Blends, Classic Ink Refill, Classic Ink, the Standard Ink Pad, and the Standard 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Has all the order numbers. How about that? But if we don't make it, but this is the best place, that's why I put color collection because I go through cardstock. It's one of those things. It coordinates, you need a base, and here it is. And it is nice quality, heavy duty cardstock to boot. And then they have ways to organize your craft room from for your stampin' blends your punches, your ribbon, the tops to hold your anchors. It all depends. It's all how you want to do your craft space. I think I've reorganized mine like 50 times already. <laughs> and I really like the way they do the assortments and bundles because if you are buying All the bright neutrals, regals, or subtles in the stamp sets, and you're getting the whole collection, or if you are getting the Stampin' Rights, just an on one collection, or the ink pads, it has all the numbers, and it saves you, I believe, 10%. They do have the same for the ink colors, just not the refills. And they also sell the markers, the five sets. Or, if you just want them all, there's many Marvis markers, which comes with a carrying case, too. And the new thing we got coming out is the Soft Pastel assortment that's coming out. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to play with it. I don't do pastels. But if you like them, they are there. It didn't work out so good in my art class. And then we have two sets of watercolor pencils were absolutely beautiful. And if you don't want to get a bunch of colors or markers, that's a great starter set to add some color to your 
projects. And not only do we make cards, but we also do scrapbooking. A lot of our 12 by 12 paper and our papers are actually designed for scrapbooking image uh, in mind. We sell um, memories and more card packs, which you can combine, you can do pictures. We sell the album. We sell the refill sheets, so you got different things going on there. So it's not just cards. You can still do your scrapbooking too. I know I say cards, but that's what I usually do. So it looked like we had the embossing powders retiring, but they're not really retiring. Because if you look on 128, you'll see that they come in a three pack. Black, clear, and white, and the metallics, which is copper, gold, and silver. Um, we still have the heat tool, the palette knife, embossing paste, the matte finish, and the shimmery white. Decorative mask, Winkasella. I love my Winkasella. Shimmery crystal effects I haven't gotten to play with. I really need to put that on my list. The basic black stamp and write that is the only marker that, other than the ink colors, that doesn't come with the big set of markers. That's handy to have. And then the white chalk marker, which has some cool uses for that too, and techniques. But this is where you'll find our Memento Tuxedo Black that everybody loves. And then we have the stands on, which is a archival or permanent ink. So you can use watercolor on it and it will not move for you. So if you're doing any kind of watercolor and stamping and you don't want that image to blend, you need to use stands on or stays on. And you're gonna wanna get the special cleaner because you're, it's not gonna come off with like the squeegee or like the spray and mist very well. You need something different to break down that ink. And then you have your Versamark, which is great for your embossing powders. And then we have actual white, which is really cool. It gives you the chalky look. We have small Stampin' Square cubes. And these blenders, if you want to just make sure you can add a little bit of color. There's like, let's see. They're called the Dabbers. I call them my finger, my finger puppets. Um, so let's see, they come with five of them in a pack, and they're five bucks, so they're like a dollar each, and you put them in there, and you have them for colors, and then you can add colors all the time. Hi, Tammy! And my very happiness is there, as they kept the blending brushes, and I was excited, because I love the blending brushes. My neck doesn't, but I love the blending brushes. And then you have the spritzers, which you can use for alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or just water. You can put ink in there too. There's lots of cool techniques with that. And then you got your water painters. And then your blender pens, which are awesome. So, and then we go to 130 and we're going to look at, it's just got your DSPs. From the beauty of the earth, it'll just show you a bigger picture. And really, these pictures do not do these papers justice. They are absolutely gorgeous. But it lists them. If you just like paper and just to buy a sentiment stamp and set and do your cardstock with your adhesive, you're good to go. Because the, the beautiful thing is it's double-sided. It's quality paper and... The pa Stampin' Up's paper, DSP, really does the work for you. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the In Good Taste has made it over. And then we have all our new sweets in the wild. Pansy Petals. Simply Elegant. Sweet Symmetry. The new Christmas paper. Tidying a Christmas for that sweet. The Sweet Peach. And then I need the in color, and these are all the new designs. And we have them for our brights, our regals, our neutrals, 
our subtles, our base, well, they don't have basic, but they have it for both sets of ink colors, and they have two, they come in 40 sheets, four or two double side designs in five colors. And the, the bigger collection come in 10 colors. And then we got the new specialty basics, which they really outdid themselves. It's really gorgeous. They got foil sheets, pearlescent specialty paper, rainbow glimmer paper, ombre specialty paper, square vellum doilies, in color shimmer vellum. That's gorgeous. And if I don't have it in my hand, it's not, this picture is not going to do it justice. It's really not. And then the gold and the rose gold sheets, specialty paper. And then it has the Hydrangea Hill Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. And that's just specialty paper. And then on the next page, you will find 136, you will find your window sheets, your basic vellum, your watercolor paper. And they actually brought in linen paper and it's really gorgeous. It's got a more of a natural look to it. And your shimmer white and your three sizes of envelopes. And these envelopes are heavy duty. So if you're making it for a really special occasion or a wedding or you're doing, you know, any kind of engagement party or anything like that, these heavy duty note envelopes actually make such a world of difference when it comes in the mail. And then you have your packaging basics. This is another thing that I was talking about that Stampin' Up! doesn't stay with just the 2D images or sometimes make it 3D. We are going into different packaging party favors, different kinds of boxes, adorable little teacher appreciation gifts or just appreciation gifts. We have new ombre bags and the new in colors. They have all kinds of stuff on that page. And then they split it up with the ribbon and trim. And it has, I love the way that they set up the ribbon. It's so easy to see. I can pick up the numbers. It's a lot better than last year in my opinion. But they have the Just Jade and Gold, the Flirty Flamingo, and all the in color ribbons, which I believe I've shown. Evening Evergreen, Smoky Slate. But they brought in a lot of new ribbon. The Highland Heather, and then we have the Baker's Twine. It's an actual essential pack, so it comes with five spools of crumb cake, white, gray granite, black, and berry vanilla, so that's really cool. And then you have the cool embellishments going on here, and we have a lot of gold with the bees, the acetate, the background. But we have these cool flowers, the loose flower flourishes, and they're all in the new in colors. And they are really, really, really cute. And they look great on some of those flowers cards. Or even putting them on the animals, make them a little Hawaiian. And then 142 through 143, you have all your gems and rhinestones and extra goodies going on here. And I love the way they have it set up. It's a lot easier to read. And it looks like the Stampin' Up! has gone with a more square look for the in colors. For last year's in colors. But they got really pretty iridescent ones and blues and all different ones. Not just the end colors, so it's really good. But the Gilded Leafing is definitely here for another year, so I'm really excited about that. And then on the next page, you'll find your, stamp your stamping accessories, your stamparatus, your blocks. And the good thing about Stampin' Up! is each stamp set will suggest a block for you. So if you don't have it... Always double check to make sure you have the right stamp block. And then what they also do is you should really look back here. There's more inspirational ideas going on here. I'm sorry, Turtle, you could not come home with me. 
But we're sitting there, and these are all the punches, and they break it up by bundles and punches. And then they have your tools. If you don't have a take-a-pick tool, get your take-a-pick tool. That's my one suggestion. And I suggest it, I think, every video that I ever use it. But it's got your bone folder, your scissors, your trimmer, the scoring board. Anything that you would need is right here. And your, your trimmer refills, too. And then you have your embossing. We have both the big and the little. We have the mini and the big papa. I have the mini. I still use an older large one, but I'm looking into getting the other one. I like how it folds up. But you will notice that all of them, when we go to the die cut area, will actually tell if they will fit into the mini. So if you only have the mini at home, you're not going to buy a die and go, well, it doesn't fit. So it tells you that. And then you have all your embossing folders going on here. And they even have, they got a lot of embossing folders that are just, that can be used in the mini. So they're definitely expanding them. But it also gives you your bundles. And whenever you get it in a bundle, you always save 10% for your stamp set and your dies or stamp set and punches. But it gives you the bundles, but it also gives you, if you just want to buy the die cuts. And it also gives you the page that it's originally on. So it's really nice. So it's almost like an index of that. But they have all those. So it gives you a quick view. And then we have just dies. So they have a lot of standalone dies. Um, one of the new ones is called Basic Borders. That's actually on my wish list. I thought those were really cool. Iconic's another new one. Give it a whirl. Flower Market. So they got, and these are the layering dioramas. They're really cool shapes. And I'm thinking about getting those. Because I really like those shapes. And I know when I try to fussy cut them, my shapes do not look like that. But I do like the fact that you can layer and make it a 3D image. And picture this. That's the one that comes with circles and squares. So you can play peekaboo with your animals right in here. Um, that's, and then we have a stitch greenery. And then it actually even tells you where what page to go to so you can see where it's been used. So they give you an example for that. It's another new one. The Stitched with Whimsy has followed through from the mini catalog, which I was kind of happy because that's in my want list. But the new thing that they have going on here, and I have it, it's called Tailored Made Tags. There's tags for every size. So yes, a lot of our tag things have retired but now they have 10 dies all the two different shapes with the holes and you can make tags for anything whether it be for weddings halloween treats christmas birthdays doesn't matter you have a size for everything so i thought that was really cool and then on 167 we got our adhesive all our standard adhesive can be found on there. Find your favorite. And then we have this really cool thing. It's called Connect Craft and Collect $25. So, for a certain amount of time, I think it's June 14th. If you host a party and it is... A qualifying party with the orders not only do you get the host rewards you get the 25 extra dollars too and they got some great host rewards going on here they have this cute swan and frog oh, swan lake love it and then the Best Places, which has a Happy Father's Day, Celebrate and Wonder This Day, You Made the World a Better Place, 
with these really pretty things. And then we have natural textures, which are really quite cool. But I think the best thing that they've added is the 48 sheets of double-sided, four of each, 12 designs, double-sided paper. It's designer series paper. One side is the pattern of the colors and the other side is black and white. So it's really, really awesome. And then you have your quick index. And then you have your quick index for accessories if you don't have the time. And you're legal and you make a difference. So, are you planning to go shopaholic? Well, Stampin' Up's doing another promotion. Today through the 31st, if you join, our $99 kit will let you pick out $155 worth of merchandise. Just as your starter kit, and that includes free shipping. And it's only for the month of May, and this is the bomb deal. You can pick and make your own starter kit. And if you don't want to be a demonstrator, or you just want to be a hobby demonstrator, or nothing at all... That's all you have to do. You just get it. It's like a humongous coupon. Or if you want to be a demonstrator and be a part of my team, I'd love to have you and have you join my community. Either one would be absolutely great. So, if you guys share my annual catalog virtual launch party... When I bought my tags, I actually got quite a few extras. And I decided to save them for a raffle. And I will be giving away two sets of them if you'd love to organize like me. These are awesome. And you can tag up your new annual catalog because it's good for a whole year. You can win these little bad boys. Plus I'll throw in some extra DSP. So all you have to do is share my post and then comment below what your favorite stamp set is. So that's all you have to do is comment, share, and then comment on my, when I upload it to YouTube, what I'm going to actually share it onto my page and comment on that one, what your stamp, the absolute you can't live without stamp set. What is it that you need? <laughs> you have to pick one, Susie. You can't write a whole paragraph. <laughs> but I'm giving away two of these sets. Um, I will also be giving away, because I do have an actual in-person launch catalog, and these are actually in one of the party favors to win when you go to that. Um, that's this Saturday. It'll be 2 to 4. My friend Erica is hosting it for me. But I wanted to make sure my online friends and my distance friends who can't make it to my annual catalog party can get these two and get a chance. So I hope you enjoyed my little launch in the catalog. And every time you open this catalog up, you're going to find something different. And I'm sure I've skipped and missed <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day happy shopping